everyone. Welcome to today's Accelerate Your Performance podcast. I'm your host, Janet Pilcher. Thanks for having a desire to be your best at work and help your organization achieve success. This podcast is all about actions we can take to improve workplace culture and achieve results. And they're all aligned to our nine principles for organizational excellence. Joining us on today's show is my colleague, Dr. Sarah Miller, Director of Partnership and Student Services for Teacher Ready, and much more, Sarah. <laughs> Teacher Ready is an alternative certification program affiliated with the University of West Florida. Next week at the 2022 Carnegie Summit, she and others from our Teacher Ready team will share on the impact of alternative teacher credentialing and what they're learning that creates access for a diverse range of candidates. I'm looking forward to hearing about Sarah's partnership. And Sarah, you and I are tag teaming on that presentation and looking forward to doing that with you. And we know that there are teachers and school districts who are struggling through the pandemic, but very specifically, we have the struggles of filling the demands of teaching positions across the country. So this topic is extremely important. But before we get started, I wanted to share a bit about Sarah's education and background. Sarah has an educational doctorate degree in curriculum and diversity studies from the University of West Florida. She has an educational specialist degree in educational leadership from the University of West Florida, and she has a master's degree of arts in mild disabilities with an endorsement in moderate, severe, and profound education from the University of Evansville. Sarah received board certification from the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards as an exceptional needs specialist in 2004. And prior to her role with student education, Sarah worked in K-12 education as a special education teacher and leader for 17 years. I know firsthand Sarah's passion is customer service and continuous improvement. She focuses on helping organizational culture by refining service excellence and incorporating tactics for organizational improvement. Sarah uses these skills to coach school districts, and in her work as Director of Student Services and Partnership Development for the Teacher Ready Program, where she helps lead a team that strives to provide excellent service to each student in the program, and that's core to our belief with students in Teacher Ready. And Sarah, you do it as well as anybody I've known. So Sarah, welcome to our show today. Thanks so much, Jan, and I'm really happy to be here. So your experience in education is is impressive, and I've talked a little bit about it, Sarah, but can you share with us what led you to get in the field of education? You know, I always knew that I wanted to go into education. Both of my parents were in education. I grew up playing school. All my Barbies went to my school. My pets went to my school, and, and I practiced teaching them all the time. So my mother interestingly enough, was a school administrator in a neighboring county. She would bring home textbook samples from textbook adoptions that were left over so that my sister and I could play school with them and we would teach each other. Well, we did that until one day our mom realized that we had a teacher's edition um, for (laughs) the current textbook our district had adopted. So needless to say, no more teacher's editions (laughs) after that. But uh, just grew up from the time I was young, knowing that education was for me. I love it, Sarah. I think all of us, I mean, as teachers, we have some of those stories about, I mean, I can see in my, in my bedroom where I place the, uh, it was a stuffed animal, anything, anything in the room that could be a a student of ours. And, you know, I remember um, there, there were uh, stores called TGNY back in, in the day of my childhood and uh, my parents would give me a, a quarter allowance a week and I would save them to buy those workbooks. I don't know if you remember in those TGMY stores, but they had word reading and math workbooks. And um, you know, I think I learned along, I think I learned alongside all of the, all of the um, characters in, in my room there. And I'm sure you have many of those stories as well. Exactly the same way. <laughs> yeah. And you still know them. I mean, that's the thing is what's so sad is I still kind of know who the characters were to this day and time from my childhood. So um, great imagination as well. So, you know, I know we're excited about the Carnegie Summit coming up in San Diego and um, that's coming up next week where leaders in education across the country will share their learnings from their continuous improvement journeys. And Teacher Ready is, is that for us. So the two of us will be among those presenting, sharing about Teacher Ready. So let's spend a minute, Sarah, if we will, we could, just talking about the focus of our presentation. So um, if you would tell us a little bit about it. Certainly. 
So, you know, the landscape of ed the educational system is continuously changing and particularly so right now. It's really causing us that need to unthink and rethink the way we're looking at teacher preparation programs. Our students are really seeking those credentialing programs that prioritize accessibility, affordability, and flexible field work. So our session is really going to focus on those cycles of improvement to show how we're doing this and how we're meeting our candidates' needs. Yeah, and, you know, I think uh, that's great, Sarah. And I know, you know, in our presentation, we'll show those improvement cycles and the data and, you know, how we view student input you know, to improve. And as, as we talked about earlier in the introduction, I mean, you're just great with the service excellence that you provide to our students and, and all of us on our team. You know, and I think a little bit about, as you and I have talked about that presentation, one of the things we've been able to do in Teacher Ready is really push the envelope a little bit about how we meet students' needs and listen to those needs to deliver our program. For example, you know, we have everyday enrollment and our students are going through the competency-based kind of self-paced program. And, we're, and our instructors are providing consistent feedback and coaching and support to our students. Um, you know, just curious, as you, as you think about where we started and where we are today, you know, what do you, what do you think is really significant about the way that we have connected to students? I think it's really significant that we listen to our students and we take what they say and really make program changes with it. We look carefully at that survey data and what our students are telling us that their needs are. And we really try to use that information. Through that, we've focused on the areas that you've mentioned. We've also enhanced our mentor support for our field work. And that was from information not only from our students, but also from our mentors. So I think it's really important that, that folks look at feedback from everywhere, from all stakeholders, and really utilize that to make changes. Yeah, I think that's great, Sarah. And true, they're true partners. You know, our students, our mentors, our instructors, our advisors, um, our admissions folks, we're all true partners in the process of really providing the best support to our students to achieve their goal of becoming a teacher. Um, you know, across the country right now, there's a struggle to, to fill the demand of teaching positions um, in high need areas. But you know what? Almost in every in every area. Um, can you share with us how Teacher Ready is helping meet this need in a way that creates quality candidates and has access uh, with a diverse population of educators? Teacher Ready is really able to assist second career candidates because we offer an alternative pathway that allows them to stay in their current positions while they're getting their full teaching license. We can do this through flexible, asynchronous, one-on-one -on -one learning design that we utilize. And because of that one-on-one -on -one approach, students have a lot of assistance, not only through their admissions process where they can apply and enroll daily um, instead of having to wait for a, a new semester or a new cohort, but they can also receive that one-on-one -on -one assistance from their advisors throughout the program to help them be successful. Our field work can be spread throughout a nine month period of time instead of the old traditional way of eight weeks of full-time student teaching. That model's really hard for candidates who have to work. I think also another important factor is that Teacher Ready is really cost effective when it's, you compare it to other programs. So when you think about that affordability, not only is that crucial for folks, but also with Teacher Ready, they can make monthly payments instead of having to ante up the, the full amount for a semester. And that can be difficult. We really focus on looking at those challenges and, and any others that arrive because we want our candidates to be able to make the transition into the teaching field. So I think it really boils down to our program design and how it really provides accessibility to an extended population. Yeah, I think that's great, Sarah. And we've been doing it for two decades now. You know, it's kind of incredible when you think think about that. And uh, we have a, a, a great group of students and great group of candidates and, a, and students all over the world who are who've experienced our program. Uh, so it's just it's just uh, when I look back over the beginning of time in the two decades, just really proud of of the work that our team's been able to do to help create a pathway for wonderful professionals to teach. We'll do our presentation, but there'll be all kind of presentations at the Carnegie Summit. So what are you looking forward to the most as we uh, travel our way to San Diego to the summit? I'm really looking forward to hearing from organizations 
um, of in many types and hearing their improvement stories. You know, I think we're, there's a lot to learn from other fields outside of education. So when we really pay attention and listen to what others are doing, it affirms what right looks like. It gives us those opportunities to extend our learning, and it really gives us momentum to propel us forward. So I'm really looking forward to what we're going to learn. I am too. I uh, love to learn from others. And as we look at the work that we do, we're all about achieving results, but we really are focused on continuously improving what we do each and every day with each other, with the people that we serve, and to be partners in that process. And so I look forward to learning from other partners out there who can really share their stories and their results as we head head to San Diego. So for our listeners, if you're interested in the Carnegie Summit, you can register virtually. If you can't get out there, there's a virtual option to register for the Carnegie Summit, and or you can make your way to San Diego. And if so, maybe we'll get an opportunity to meet and hope that you can. So if if you want to register, here's the information. It's Carnegie Foundation, C-A-R-N-E-G-I-E-F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N, carnegiefoundation.org slash summit. Connect to that, learn about Carnegie, what the summit's going to be about, and register for your for the virtual option or, again, travel over to San Diego and join us. Also, if you want to register for some of our events at Studer Education, here's the way to connect to that. It's S-T-U-D-E-R-E-D-U-C-A-T-I-O-N dot com slash events. And if you connect to that link, you can learn more about our conferences and learn more from our partners who are doing tremendous and continuous improvement work and some of the events that are coming up this spring and the summer. We'd love to to have you with us. And as always, I thank you for tuning in to this episode of Accelerate Your Performance. We invite you to share this episode with a friend or colleague, and please follow and rate our podcast and Apple podcast. I look forward to connecting with you next time as we continue to focus on the nine principles for organizational excellence so that we can be our best at work. Have a great week.